Kev, the audio guy, bringing you short, informative videos in plain English on how to create clean, creative audio. All right, today I've purchased a new software tool called the Underwater Effects Plugin. This tool is designed to emulate that smooth, floaty, lo-fi sound that you hear in a lot of Drake's music. So today I'm going to be using that plugin on a vocal sample and a piano. Let's get right to that demo track with a little before and after. Here's my before samples. Yeah. And now, after. Here we go. Let's break down how we did this one. All right, track one right here is my grand piano. Let's open up the underwater effect and it opens and we see Drake and some controls, okay? This is a really simple effect. It's basically four components, a low frequency roll off switch, a resonant filter with slope control, a bit crusher, and a drive control. All right, the low frequency roll off switch is to remove bass frequencies below 80 hertz. Since this is a piano, I'll switch it on just to be safe. Next, we have a resonant filter with a slope control menu right here. The settings in this menu are like an intensity control for the filter. We'll come back to this. Next, right here is the redux control or a bit crusher, which is designed to emulate the sound of an old school hardware sampler. Watch this. I'll play a short piano loop. And we see Drake crying. All right, it's kind of clever, like that. I'll adjust the redux control. And we hear the sound breaking up a bit into harmonic overtones. All right, let's stop the track. Since these overtones have a pitch, I like to adjust bit crushers to make the pitch of the overtones blend with the pitches of the piano notes. For this track and for my ear, that happens to be when the redux control is set to 20. So I'll set this to 20. And let's hear this. Perfect. Next, right here is my filter control. I want to roll back some of the brightness created by the bit crusher. I'll play the track and I'll adjust this a bit. Here we go. Okay, I like the way this sounds when the knob falls anywhere between around one kilohertz and two kilohertz. This takes us to the slope control right here. Now that my filter frequency is set, I use the slope settings to control the level of that buzzy artifact sound. So let's hear this. Okay, so there's a lot of buzz. And there's the other extreme, no buzz at all. Okay, for my ear, I like the sound when it's set to 36. The final control is our drive knob right here. I'll set this to 2 dB just to kind of restore some gain that we may have lost while processing the other sound. And from here, I add two more effects to my piano. First, a big reverb. Right down here, we have Valhalla Shimmer. And as you can see right here, it's set to the concert hall preset. Let's take a look at this. And my mix setting right here is set to 0.33. I'll close this. And last but not least, right down here, I'm using the Ableton Auto Pan effect, set to half notes. Okay, I'll play the track and switch these effects in. Here we go. Now the verb. Auto Pan. Perfect. 
Okay, everything we just did for this piano also works great on organs, choir vocals, anything like that. For the vocal samples in this demo, I pitch my voice up and down by an octave, and I use the underwater plugin to roll back some of the high frequencies. Let's enable all our tracks, and let's hear this in context. Here we go. Thank you so much for watching, and please, subscribe.